Hello YouTube, this is a box of doodads and stuff. That's what I call it, doodads, little trinkets. I think this had a wallet in it. Extra capacity, simple. So somebody gave me this box. I never buy anything with this box. Okay, let's start out with something really nice here. Let, let me get let me get something out of the way here. Okay, I have to center this. Okay, you can guess why I'm centering it. It's a topless Coca-Cola belt buckle. Okay, this is absolutely fake. It's totally fake. It's fake. It's not worth anything. And look on eBay. People are trying to sell them for $100. They are fake. I got a pretty nice one. There's some out that don't look as good as this. I actually read it a book once years ago, and I went out and researched it even on YouTube and on the Internet. This is Tiffany Foundry. We'll show you the back. It's very hard to read. It doesn't do no good to take a picture. It's some Coca-Cola bottling. Somewhere in Philadelphia or whatever. But no, this is not real. It was never licensed. So let me censor it again. Okay. See so you know. But it is neat. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. I think it's pretty neat. The, the stuff was around in the 70s when I was a teenager, so I ain't about to get rid of it. Okay, let's let's pause. My camera symbol's flashing on the battery, so then we'll go off to <clears throat> another. Excuse me. Okay, we're back. Hope I don't belch, because I'm drinking Mountain Dew. I shouldn't be drinking that early. Now, this is fake in a different way. This is fake money. <laughs> I will take some pictures of this. Of the back. It's pretty cool. We got a half dollar. Some barber dimes. These are called barber dimes down here when they're early 1900s. And buffalo nickels. So we will take a picture of that. So look at the end. You want to see what all this writing is. It has a serial number. You know how they are back in the old days on TV. It even comes authentic, whatever, blah, blah, serial number. Yeah, they made thousands of them, probably. Okay, that's pretty neat. We'll put that up there. This may be a long video. Okay, I found this metal detecting. I might have showed this before. I put sand here, because see where the glass is real thick? You see that? This would have been like the doctor gave me medicines back in the late 1800s. Found in my own backyard. I made a little plug here on some paper towel. I put the sand in there so you actually see how it was made, how it was molded. Uh, I hit it with a shovel. I was digging a little hole for some drainage for the garage roof. So, that's pretty neat. This was made out of a 80's Ford. Uh, your fuel injection. Up on top of the big plenum is there's a piece you can take off to take the bolts out. And I cut this all out with a grinder over the years. I'd painted it different colors. So, it actually is a car part. Top of your fuel injection thing. Mustangs had it too. So that's probably the most common you'd think of. It's been painted different colors. I may redo that. Uh, that's just part of my fishing pole. Your Shakespeare collapsible pole. Uh, we have a thin bowl. It's odds and ends. I'd find this stuff in my junk and then I'd say a ball bearing. Uh, you can put a rod on there and use that to make gaskets like where the holes are tap with a hammer you know to punch out the holes in the paper this is odd when I found this this is the same way this looks like the thing for shish kebab on the barbecue okay but somebody made it this short and it wasn't as pointed as I have it so I've used it for it all uh, nice stab hook it's not brass Go through this kind of quick. Some of it's common. Now here's one. Oh, I said I don't get paid to advertise nobody. It says Vaughn USA Stores Brewing Company, Omaha, Nebraska. I don't know if you can read it. America's light, refreshing beer. I do not promote beer drinking or anything like that. It's pretty old. I may clean it up. I may not clean it up. Just leave it alone. Uh, odd stuff like a pair of tweezers that came off something. 
This came off of something. See how it's got a hole? I have no idea what it came off of. Something that came equipped with tweezers. I used to make these years ago, plum bobs. So I found one or some, I think, in my desk drawer. I have the desk drawer that has the pencil compartments and stuff. This I made for probably cleaning carburetors. Do not ask me what kind of wire this is. It almost looks like, I wouldn't think it's big wire. It's wire that came off of something, but a handy little tool. This should be, this probably will go in my machinist drawer when I'm done. The same is like this. Another pair of tweezers. Okay, this is a piece of pewter. Uh, I've got one that looks like, if you know what a morale mushroom is, I got one that was melted in the dirt that looks like that. I tried to find it. We went into my big shop, looked through some of my metal detecting junk. This was made by a piece of pewter by putting a piece of pipe nipple on a flat plate and melting it, letting it pour in there. It is shiny if you shine it up. Pewter is lead tin, and some of it was silver plated, so there could be a slight amount of silver content in there, but... I made that just for something to make years ago. Here is a Craftsman Sears. And I know how old this is. This is from the mid-80s. When I had this screwdriver set. They definitely need a little keychain screwdriver. And if I remember right, one of these is just the right thickness to set a spark plug. I am positive it is. Uh, you just have to check it to make sure. Uh, of course, we got like keychain. Uh, another one. I'll show you my skeleton key collection someday. I got like a dozen. Another little awl that's made for me. Tell how I've used it on something. To dig in somewhere to get a hold of something. Look at the tip's bent over. This came out the rear end of my truck. Because I wanted to know what the gear ratio was. I looked up and never pulled it back on. It's 275. Which is pretty high geared. It should be put back on it. Anybody in the military knows what this is? People get confused by the number of name. P38 can opener. I have one like the Navy ones which are bigger. Um, miniature toggle switch. Uh, I made this for striking my ferro rod. These are cutoff blades for a lathe. Uh, I got several of these. Wedges for hammering. I think I could find them. Here's something I tossed in there one day. The 1954 knuckle. Might be able to read it. Uh, fitting off something for air hose. But it's not a common size. It, it, this ain't the common size that you normally see. This probably came out of a carburetor. Or I made it for a carburetor. Some carburetors had that screen down in there. Like a chainsaw carburetor or something else. I probably made it so I'd have a spare. Uh, shell casing. Uh, don't quote me, but I think it's 38 Special. These are great for cutting gaskets out. For gasket holes, uh, you can always file them and sharpen them. You just put it on the paper and tap it with your hammer. Make sure they're uh, spent round, been used. Don't hit on something that's live. I have several of these. I know somebody sent me one one time, but I found some of these modern ones. But I know I have another one of these. I've been tempted to try to paint them, but I'm just so shaky. At my age, running little paintbrushes, I just don't want to. Safety pan, 22 shell, I said which works to make holes in a gasket. I don't know if that's been fired or not. Uh, I got two of these. You got an old motor or something that's got the tag on it. These little spiral rivets that tap in. Uh, the head badge on a bicycle frame, so we don't want to lose those. And I don't really trust these for big stuff. 
clip. And here's an odd one. It's a, you know it's a pin out of a door hinge, but I'd saved it. And I don't know if I ground it. I saved it. I probably used it for punch something out before I had roll pin punches. That's made out of epoxy. I can't tell if it's JV Weld or the PC7 stuff. Little round ball. I rolled the ball like a marble. I just about bet you this is a mangled one out of... I don't know. I think I got this new with my... Uh, Bridge and Strat 3.5 horse. But it was wrong. So that's probably one I needed for a 5 horse. 5 horse is tapered on a horizontal engine. But you get the lawnmower with the vertical strap, they had like a stair step to it. So I know it's on Briggs and Stratton carburetor for sure. Another show casing. Wow. 357 Magnum. Is that just right for making holes in paper. Some odd thing like this. I was making stuff with a metal lathe. I chopped this off of here. Maybe I was going to make a little brass washer or something. I used to make my homemade antennas. This is your pencil lead for them little for your compass. You draw your circles. That's what that little lead point is in there. So I do probably have that compass somewhere. That's about it. There's a button in there. The washer. That's about it. It's kind of worth going through, just if you're bored, to see all the junk that I have in there. But I should put on a warning long video, but there you go. We'll just pile everything in a pile and take a neat looking picture for a thumbnail picture. So, thanks again.